while you're eating with your family and people you care about, don't forget about those in central Indiana who are less fortunate. Yeah, that's why thousands of volunteers spent today in the holiday helping to create a Thanksgiving Day meal. News 8's David Williams is here with more. Happy Thanksgiving, David. Hey, happy Thanksgiving to both of you. Well, when we walked inside Butler University's Atherton Union building earlier today, almost every corner, nook and cranny was alive and buzzing with people and hot food, all for a good cause that's almost 50 years strong. We have a lot. How are we doing on food? What do we need? What do we need? On this Thanksgiving day. We have dressing, turkey, I think this is apple crisp, <laughs> green beans, and dinner rolls. Thousands of people spend the day volunteering on this holiday. This is the third year for Brittany Turrentine and her family. They wouldn't have it any other way. Why give up Thanksgiving? Because I, I have the time. My family can wait. Um, I get my dinner done on Thursday I mean Wednesday. So why not come and do it Thursday morning? They're here to help prep, create, and serve thousands of meals since last night. To give you an idea of how much food they're working with, they're dishing up 15,000 pounds of turkey and 10,000 pounds of dressing. This is the 47th year for the Moselle Sanders Foundation dinner. It's Tim Spears' first time volunteering here. I feel blessed. I, I'm blessed in, in my life, and I feel blessed to be able to help someone else out and have a meal today that wouldn't otherwise have one. That's the same reason Governor Eric Holcomb took time to dish out some Thanksgiving meals. I don't want anyone to feel like they're you know, drowning in a sea of opportunity that while other people are smiling all around them, they've got a lot of stress going on or they're worried about where the next meal might come from. There are people in this community, in our state, this is what our state's all about is Hoosiers helping Hoosiers. Some 40,000 Hoosiers are expected to be served from 44 sites around the area. People are in need, and I think it's a universal issue, a universal concern. Poverty rates are increasing, not only in our state, but nationwide. And when people of goodwill have a chance to give back to Moselle Sanders, it's a great effort. Why not? That's a good story. People I spoke to today say they'll be back again next year to volunteer. I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.